Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day. From the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March the 17th of 2020, well, it is titled M77 Spiral Galaxy with an Active Center. So what do we see here? Well, this is a spiral galaxy and known by its catalog designation, which is M77. And it is a galaxy that we see pretty much face on. And we look straight down almost on the spiral structure of this galaxy. And it is an unusual one in that it has a very active center. So an active galaxy differs from an ordinary galaxy in a couple of ways. In one way, it has it emits more energy than a typical galaxy of the same type and size. And in another way, it emits different types of radiation. So the typical galaxy will emit uh, energy that looks like the combined light of many billions of stars. So giving off lots of visible light, in other words. An active galaxy goes to the extremes of the spectrum, and while it gives off visible light, as you can see here, it also gives off lots of radio waves or very low energy and uh, radiation. And in addition, it gives off uh, a lot of high energy radiation, things like X-rays. So it gives a different type of spectrum than an ordinary galaxy does. So this one, we can see the spiral structure and we can see that star formation is going on here because we see lots of the red regions associated with hydrogen gas. And that is hydrogen gas that has been excited by hot stars. So the hot stars that form excite the hydrogen gas and give us this red and pink glow that's scattered around and highlights the spiral arms. We can also see a little bit of the blue glow of the hot stars themselves. And again, that all highlights the spiral arms. Now, as you go deeper down into it, that would be where we would see the black hole. Now, of course, a black hole itself is not going to be visible uh, because it does not give off any energy itself. However, as material spirals into the black hole, that is when the energy can be given off, when, it in, when the intense uh, heat of material spiraling in as it gets close to the black hole that is when the energy will be given off. And once it crosses the event horizon or the point of no return, uh, no further information can be known about that material. So anything can go, in, uh, go on inside that event horizon and we would have no way of knowing about it because in order to get outside of the event horizon from inside, you have to travel faster than the speed of light. And as we understand right now, the speed of light is the limiting speed of the universe and nothing can go faster than light. So astronomers study galaxies like these to learn about those black holes and how they may work and how they may generate such tremendous amounts of energy. And they seem to be common as we find them in essentially every galaxy, including our own Milky Way, uh, to various uh, extents, maybe being as small as just a few million solar masses or maybe going up to billions of times the mass of our sun. So there are, is something very massive there that causes a lot, creates a lot of this excess energy that we see coming from these active galaxies and especially from the cores of these active galaxies. So that was our picture of the day for March the 17th of 2020. It was titled M77, Spiral Galaxy with an Active Center. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Amazing Rays. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.